I'm Michael. Deep within the ancient pages of the Bible lies a prophecy so potent, so mind-blowing, that it has the power to change everything you thought you knew about Christianity and Judaism. We're talking about the vision of the Valley of Dry Bones, a story straight out of Ezekiel, a prophet from 500 BC that holds the key to understanding life, death, and the very essence of faith. Have you ever wondered about the mysteries hidden within the ancient pages of the Bible? Today, we dive deep into one such mystery that has shaped the course of Christianity and Judaism. We're peeling back the layers of a prophecy so profound it alters our understanding of faith, life, and death. This prophecy comes from the book of Ezekiel, a tome filled with divine revelations and visions penned by a prophet living in the tumultuous times of 500 BC. This prophecy is none other than the vision of the Valley of Dry Bones, a symbol of hope, renewal, and resurrection that has captivated scholars and believers for centuries. The significance of this prophecy is immeasurable, influencing theological interpretations and shaping religious thought. So, are you ready to embark on this journey with us? Join us as we unravel the life of Ezekiel, his prophecy, and its interpretations. Ezekiel, born around 622 BC, is one of the most prominent prophets in the Bible. This remarkable man hails from a lineage of priests, with his father Buzi being a Zedekite priest. His life took a dramatic turn when he, along with the rest of the Judean society, was exiled to Babylon in 597 BC. In the foreign land of Babylon, Ezekiel lived most of his life. His experiences during the exile greatly influenced his prophecies, which are deeply imbued with the pain, hope, and resilience of a people far from their homeland. However, Ezekiel was more than just a prophet. He was also a priest who, despite being in exile, never stopped serving his community. Ezekiel is often portrayed as a man of unwavering faith, even in the face of great adversity. His commitment to his faith and his people is evident in his prophecies, which often carried messages of hope and reassurance for a desperate and captive people. He is perhaps best known for his vivid and symbolic visions, which were often complex and layered with deep meaning. These visions recorded in the book of Ezekiel are a testament to his spiritual insight and his strong connection to the divine. Despite his rather tumultuous life, Ezekiel never wavered in his faith. His steadfastness is truly remarkable and serves as a testament to his character. He was a man who, despite being in the midst of chaos, held on to his faith and used it as a beacon of hope for his people. Ezekiel's life was eventful, but it is his prophecy that has left an indelible mark on history. His visions and prophecies, particularly the vision of the Valley of Dry Bones, have had a profound impact on both Christianity and Judaism. They have provided a framework for understanding life, death, and the very essence of faith. So, as we delve deeper into the life and works of this extraordinary prophet, let us remember the man behind the prophecy. A man of faith, hope, and resilience. A man who, despite the odds, never lost sight of his divine mission. A man named Ezekiel. The book of Ezekiel is a testament to the prophet's visions and teachings. This book, nestled in the heart of the Old Testament, is a powerful narrative that captures Ezekiel's profound experiences and prophecies. Ezekiel's story is not just a tale from the ancient world, it's a story that resonates with timeless themes of faith, resilience, redemption, and the enduring hope of restoration. These themes echo through the chapters, making it a book that continues to speak to readers, regardless of their faith. The book of Ezekiel is an intricate tapestry woven with visions, prophecies, and parables, each one shedding light on the divine mysteries of life, death, and the world beyond. It's a book that takes its readers on a journey, guiding them through the labyrinth of the divine, as eloquently described by St. Jerome. The authorship of the book of Ezekiel has been a point of debate among scholars. While some believe that Ezekiel himself penned the words, others argue that the book may have been written by a group of his followers. Regardless of who held the quill, the voice in the book is undeniably Ezekiel's, echoing his unique perspective and profound understanding of the divine. The book of Ezekiel is not just a chronicle of the past, it's a book that transcends time and space, speaking to us in our present circumstances. It's a book that challenges us to look beyond the surface, to delve deeper into the mysteries of faith, and to seek the divine in the everyday. The book of Ezekiel with its vivid visions and profound teachings remains a pivotal text in understanding the prophet and his prophecies. It's a book that invites us to reflect on our own faith, our own struggles, and our own hopes for restoration. 
It's a book that encourages us to keep seeking, to keep questioning, and to keep believing in the power of the divine. Whether you're delving into the book of Ezekiel for the first time or revisiting it with fresh eyes, it's a journey that promises to be both challenging and rewarding. So grab your Bible, find a quiet corner, and let's dive into the enigmatic world of Ezekiel. The book of Ezekiel remains a pivotal text in understanding the prophet and his prophecies. One of the most striking visions in the book of Ezekiel is the vision of the Valley of Dry Bones. Imagine an expansive valley filled with bones, bones so dry they've turned white in the sun. These are not just any bones, they are the bones of the whole house of Israel. In this vision, God leads Ezekiel around this valley, showing him the magnitude of death and desolation. God then asks Ezekiel, son of man, can these bones live? A question that stretches beyond the physical realm into the spiritual. Ezekiel's faith-filled response is, O oh Lord God, you know. This marks the beginning of an extraordinary prophecy, a prophecy of resurrection and restoration. God commands Ezekiel to prophesy to the bones, saying, I will cause breath to enter you, and you shall live. As Ezekiel prophesies, there is a rattling sound, and the bones come together, bone to its bone. The bones are covered with sinews, flesh, and skin, but there's no breath in them. God then instructs Ezekiel to prophesy to the breath, Come from the four winds, O breath, and breathe upon these slain, that they may live. As Ezekiel prophesies, breath enters them, and they live, standing on their feet, a vast multitude. This vision is rich in symbolism, representing the nation of Israel in exile, feeling as if they were dead, their hope lost. But God promises to open their graves and bring them back to life, back to their land. This prophecy is a vivid portrayal of God's power to resurrect, to breathe life into what seems dead and hopeless. The vision also speaks to the restoration of the nation of Israel, a theme that resonates deeply in both Christianity and Judaism. It's a promise of God's faithfulness, of his ability to restore and renew. This prophecy, rich in symbolism, holds profound implications for both Christianity and Judaism. It's a testament to the power of faith, the promise of restoration, and the hope of resurrection. It's a reminder that even in the face of desolation and death, God's breath of life can bring about a miraculous transformation. To fully understand the prophecy, we need to delve into its historical and theological context. Imagine being in Israel during the Babylonian exile. It was a time of despair, of dislocation, the Israelites had lost their home, their temple, their sense of identity. They were a people in exile, yearning for a return to their homeland. This is the historical backdrop against which Ezekiel's vision of the Valley of Dry Bones unfolds. The prophecy served as a beacon of hope during these dark times. It assured the Israelites that even in the midst of their exile, God had not forgotten them. He would breathe life into their dry bones, restore their nation, and bring them back from the dead. Now let's shift gears a little and delve into the theological interpretations of this prophecy. In the Jewish tradition, the vision is seen as a metaphor for the national resurrection of Israel. It's a promise of the rebirth of the Israelite nation, a return to their homeland, and a restoration of their relationship with God. In the Christian tradition, the prophecy takes on an additional layer of meaning. It's seen as a foreshadowing of the resurrection of Jesus Christ and the promise of eternal life for all believers. The dry bones coming to life symbolize the spiritual rebirth that believers experience through faith in Christ. The prophecy also has broader implications for understanding God's character. It portrays God as a God of restoration, who brings life out of death, hope out of despair, and renewal out of destruction. So when we view the prophecy in its historical and theological context, we see it's not just about dry bones coming to life, it's a profound message of hope, resurrection, and restoration. Speaking directly to the Israelites in their time of exile and resonating with believers across centuries. The prophecy, when viewed in its historical and theological context, takes on even deeper meaning. The theme of restoration is a central element in the book of Ezekiel. It's a theme that runs deep, like a pulsating heartbeat, through the veins of the narrative. And it's a theme that holds a powerful message for us today. In the midst of exile, in the midst of despair, Ezekiel's vision paints a picture of hope and renewal. This vision of a valley filled with dry bones, bones that are brought back to life, is more than just an image of physical resurrection. It's a symbol of spiritual restoration. It's a promise that even in the darkest of times, there is a light at the end of the tunnel. 
there is a future waiting to be embraced. This promise of restoration was not just for the people of Israel who were in exile in Babylon. It was a promise for all of humanity. It was a testament to the enduring love and mercy of God, a declaration that no matter how far we may stray, no matter how lost we may feel, there is always a path back to grace. And it's here, in this promise, that we find the broader message of redemption, a message that transcends the boundaries of time and culture, a message that speaks to the heart of every human being. Because at the end of the day, aren't we all in need of some kind of restoration? Aren't we all in search of redemption? The book of Ezekiel teaches us that redemption is not just about being saved from our sins. It's about being restored to our original purpose, to our truest selves. It's about coming home, about finding our place in the grand scheme of things. And it's this promise of restoration, this promise of renewal, that lies at the heart of Ezekiel's prophecy. It's a promise that resonates with us today, a promise that gives us hope that inspires us to keep going, to keep believing, to keep striving for a better tomorrow. So remember, even in the midst of struggle, even in the face of adversity, there is always the promise of restoration. The promise of restoration offers a beacon of hope and renewal, a message that resonates across faiths. Another fascinating aspect of Ezekiel's account is the concept of the resurrection of the dead. This theme echoes throughout the ancient scriptures, but it finds a particularly compelling expression in the vision of the Valley of Dry Bones. Here's how it goes. Ezekiel is shown a valley filled with dry, scattered bones. He is asked by God, can these bones live? Ezekiel replies, O Lord God, you know. Then God instructs Ezekiel to prophesy to the bones, telling them, I will cause breath to enter you, and you shall live. Lo and behold, the bones come together, flesh appears, and breath enters them. They stand up, a vast multitude, alive once more. This divine act symbolizes the resurrection of the dead, an idea that holds profound significance in both Christianity and Judaism. In Christianity, the resurrection of the dead is a central doctrine, most notably embodied in the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Christians believe that just as Christ was raised from the dead, so too will all believers be resurrected at the end of days. In Judaism, while beliefs about the afterlife are more diverse, the resurrection of the dead is a traditional belief, rooted in scriptures like Ezekiel's vision. This belief, known as Tekiat Hametim, anticipates a future time when the righteous will be resurrected and live again in the Promised Land. But look a little deeper, and you'll see that the prophecy speaks about more than just physical resurrection. It also carries a powerful message of spiritual renewal. The dry bones symbolize a state of despair and hopelessness, and their resurrection represents the power of faith to restore hope and life. So, in a way, this prophecy also speaks to each one of us, reminding us that no matter how dry or lifeless we may feel, we can always find renewal and resurrection. And it's this message of hope and renewal that makes Ezekiel's vision so potent and so enduring. The prophecy not only speaks of physical restoration, but also spiritual renewal and resurrection. Ezekiel's visions and prophecies have left a lasting legacy. This statement rings true today, just as it did over 2,400 years ago when the prophet Ezekiel first shared his divine visions. His words, imbued with potent imagery and profound wisdom, have been revered, studied, and debated by scholars and believers alike, all seeking to understand the depth of their meaning. A significant part of Ezekiel's legacy lies in his prophecy of the restoration of the temple. This vision, described in meticulous detail in the latter chapters of the book of Ezekiel, is more than just a blueprint for a physical structure. It symbolizes a rebirth, a renewal of faith, and a divine promise of restoration. For the people of Israel who were in exile, this prophecy brought hope. It painted a picture of a future where they could once again worship in their holy temple, a beacon of their faith and identity. But the impact of Ezekiel's prophecy extends beyond the Jewish faith. This vision of restoration resonates deeply with the Christian narrative of redemption. The concept of a temple, not made by human hands but by God, aligns with the Christian belief of the body as a temple of the Holy Spirit. This interweaving of physical and spiritual restoration bridges the gap between the material and the divine, encouraging believers to seek spiritual growth and renewal. Moreover, Ezekiel's prophecy has also shaped our understanding of life, death, and the afterlife. His vision of the Valley of Dry Bones, where life is breathed back into the dead, has informed religious perspectives on resurrection and the promise of eternal life. This prophecy serves as a powerful reminder of the transformative power of faith and the promise of rebirth. 
even in the face of death. In the grand tapestry of religious texts, Ezekiel's prophecies hold a unique place. They challenge us to see beyond the physical, to grapple with existential questions, and to find hope in the promise of renewal. Ezekiel's prophecy reminds us of the enduring power of faith, hope, and renewal. His legacy continues to inspire, provoke thought, and provide solace, making him a pivotal figure in both Christianity and Judaism. We hope you found this video useful. If you have anything to add, please share it with us in the comments section.